In today's video, we're going to show you how to properly clean and care for your griddle. So uh, let's get our gloves on. Let's get started. The tools I'm using today to clean my griddle are pretty easy to find at your local Ace Hardware, right? I've got some of those black nitro gloves for my friends at Gloveworks. I've got blue shop towels, which are those heavy duty paper towels. I've got a griddle scraper, which is gonna help get everything off that surface. But if I have any stuck on barbecue memories, I have a little bit of steel wool that's gonna give me that final scrubbing power. A little bit of water to create kind of a little bit of steam to loosen everything. And then oil, because at the end of this cleaning process, put a nice layer of oil oil back on there to keep it protected for my next cook. Well, those smash burgers sure left us with a little bit of mess. So first thing I did was I went ahead and shut off the griddle, make sure that it is cooling down. And now I'm gonna take my griddle scraper and go through and get off anything that is stuck to the surface. Like I said, the griddle scraper is probably gonna get 99% of this. We have that steel wool in case it doesn't, but so far we'll just go through here and get this scraped off and down into our drip pan. And you just push that down there like that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, there we go. All right, so we'll keep scraping. What I wanna feel for when I scrape the griddle surface, make sure I don't have anything stuck to the top. All right, keep going until I feel it's nice and smooth. Once I feel that we are nice and smooth, we are in a good place, and then we'll start the uh, wipe down process. Okay, we are back, we've got our Weber grill mitt on, we've got that hot glove on. Now I'm gonna take my first thick bunch of paper towel and go through here and just get off any of that excess residue that is sitting here, right? Look at that, we're gonna clean off all of that here. We'll fold that guy over and we'll get everything and all the corners cleaned. Get this back into tip top shape. And then like I said, we're just gonna push everything down there into the drip tray. Get that in there. All those crumbs, right? All those memories, all those griddle memories down into the drip tray. Now that we have all the crumbs off here, I'm gonna hit a little bit of water on there. See that water is releasing a little bit more of that residue. We're gonna let that steam die off. One, because we don't wanna get a steam burn and two, because I can't see in my glasses. And then what I do is just take that water and that'll help get any of that last little bit of grease or residue off here that we want, like, so, look at that. That's how much that took off. Now that we are done with the water and we've removed any excess residue, last step is to give it a final little coat of oil because the goal here now is to protect it in between cooks, right? So the oil will help act as kind of a barrier between any of the elements and we'll be left with a griddle that we are ready to cook on the next time we're good to go. And like I said, we always make sure we get the sides, the front, the back walls, everything. So we'll get this all wiped down put in there nice and good. Now, here's something that's gonna tell you, uh, give you a little reminder, if you will, just how good you did cleaning it. Look at this towel as it sits now, very clean. That means we did a good job. And I'll tell you, the best part about it, a perfectly seasoned griddle, much easier to clean. We're done, we'll put the lid back on next and it is time to uh, leave this for the next cook. Now that the lid is on, don't forget the very last step, it is time to empty the grease tray and we'll refill that with a brand new one next. Well, there you have it, a great video showing you how to clean that griddle super easy and get it ready for your next cook. Hey, speaking of your next cook, check out my other two griddle videos, those coming up next.